you want me to operate on you? Ding. Operate might be a strong word, but if you can get rid of this ghost, um, go for it. Everybody, my name is Yoshi Stack, and welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last episode, we found a sort of band-aid solution to the zombie problem in Threed. Well, solution might be a strong word. We, we took some sticky paper, put it in a tent in Threed, and let all the zombies go to it uh, like it was a moth attracted to a flame. It's not exactly a complete fix. You still can't really leave Threed to go to Tucson or Forside, but it is a start, and it did open up a secret path that we couldn't get to before because the zombies were blocking it, and uh, it let us get into this cave with the weird music that we are hopefully going to find the source of today. So let's get a move on. And uh, speaking of audio-related things, I do want to apologize for the um, audio issues that plagued last episode. So when I am recording an episode, uh, everything sounds fine on my end, which is why I'm not like, oh, I gotta fix that now. Uh, so everything seemed fine. And uh, given that that one happened halfway through as I was I was editing, I was like, oh, this is fine. And then it, it started. I was like, oh, uh, I'm hoping it was a computer related issue, because if it was, hopefully that problem solved. This is a different computer now. Um, if not, you may hear the sound of me screaming from wherever you live. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's solved, but uh, we're just going to focus on the game in the meantime. Speaking of which, uh, let's get to the end of this cave here. Music gets louder and grander, if we want to call it that, as we enter one of the best areas of the game. Ladies, gentlemen, and distinguished guests, I welcome you to Saturn Valley. We feel groove! Hi-ho! Me, Mr. Saturn! Or Kermit the Frog. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. So yeah, this place is entirely populated by these little creatures called Mr. Saturn. You may recognize them again if you have played Smash Bros. Uh, I don't know if they've been in every Smash Bros, but they have been in most of them as an item. And that's not even counting stuff like trophies that, you know, were so prevalent and I guess now spirits. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look around Saturn Rally because there's a lot of uh, interesting and good stuff around here. Starting first of all, we're gonna go here because this is a free hospital. I'm Doctor Saturn, Zoom, and I can repair your body. Boing. Do you want me to operate on you? Ding. Operate might be a strong word, but if you can get rid of this ghost, um, go for it. You are fixed up. Goody. Boing. So, uh, yeah, the the hospital is free, and as is the hotel, which is right over here. They're very, very handy like that, and put them at the beginning, because they're just like, I bet you need these, and you know what? Let's, uh, let's call Dad just to save. 1660. 7594. That's a, that's a decent amount of money. Paul's gonna level up here soon. All right. But, uh, yeah, they, they put both of the most useful things at the, at the front here, particularly the hospital, because you're... If you're like me, you got possessed. You want slumber? Sure. Hey yo. I I love the Mr. Saturns. They're 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 weird, but like still they still manage to be cute. I the Hobonichi Mother Project um sells Mr. Saturn plushes, which you know for a long time you just couldn't get Mr. Saturn plushes unless you either handmade one or um got really really lucky because they were they were rare for a long time but now that now they just sell them now and i so badly want one but like shipping from japan as you as you may be aware is expensive so uh that's not happening anytime soon uh, let, let's keep talking to them though once upon a time we were many many everybody slowly are less less why mm. boing yeah they, they all talk in this strange font which if I get, if I read it wrong, give me, give me a little grace here. Okay, what's up? What's up this ladder? Oh, more Mr. Saturns. We, we love Mr. Saturns. Okay, but I, I think I know where this leads. Yeah, at least there. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the design of Saturn Valley. A little weird, but it also was not meant for humans, so I guess that makes sense. Scary, scary guy. Boing. 
Grapefruit Falls. Scary, sick, barfy. Go in. La la la. Ding. Scary. <laughs> I also do love voicing the Mr. Saturns, if you can't tell. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now, Zoom. I give you on the way back. Boing. Bye later. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we're coming back for that guy. Base. Secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say, say password. Then, stand still. Wait for three minutes. Alright, that, that chime tells you that this was important. Of all the NPCs here in Saturn Valley, this is the only one that you absolutely have to talk to, at least at this point. So, uh, you can't just skip over it. Definitely pay a visit to Saturn Valley. I mean, you should anyway, just because, I mean, look at them, they're great. So, Boing, you have $380. We trade secret herb. So, Boing, you have $1780. We trade Horn of Life. I believe Horn of Life is a revive item, while the secret herb, um... God, what is my... My controller's doing weird things again, my god. Uh, the secret herb, I believe, cures other status effects. But, uh, here... We have uh, the drugstore. Still gives us a good drugstore, easy. Mr. Saturns won't give you everything for free. I'm not sure what use Mr. Saturns have uh, for money, but they they apparently have some use for for human currency. So uh, they do sell you some stuff. We are gonna need to uh, sell some stuff first because my inventory is like almost full. Uh, so we're gonna start with Jeff here. He's gonna sell the copper bracelet. And, uh, we're gonna buy him. Great charm! Okay. I, I do want to note this, though, before I, I buy- Get too- too heavy into the buying thing. Bionic Slingshot! Slingshots are a thing that we have encountered before, and I just haven't no mentioned them. They're more powerful than what Ness and Paula have. Do not buy them. They will tank your accuracy, and given how often Ness already misses, he doesn't need any help in that department, so, like, just don't do it. It's not worth your time. We are going to buy uh, these things for Paula and Jeff, though, because uh, they, 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 well, I don't know. It doesn't really give us more defense, but they're, they're good equip items for them. Okay, I give one defense, but like... Alright, and then the next thing, we need to buy silver bracelets for, uh... Well, Ness can't carry it. Uh, Ness and Impala, though. We're gonna sell the copper bracelet. Uh... We're gonna sell something from Ness. I think we'll sell the sugar packet, because, like, I'm not gonna use the sugar packet. Get out of here. One dollar. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I am just selling you, like, a, a sugar packet that you find on, like, a restaurant table. When I was a kid, I I was obsessed with, like, making everyone at the table, like, shake those. Not to use them, just to shake them. I had a whole method about it. I don't, I don't know why I was so into that, but I was. Uh, I get rid of the copper bracelet. Alright, and then there is one more thing we're buying. And that is the red ribbon for Paula. Her, pa her ribbon is now red. I don't know what color her old one was, but it's gone now. Okay. So that's the only last thing we need from this guy. This one, though, he sells a bunch of different items. Uh, healing items, rather. Also some other things like insecticide spray, obviously. Uh, the main one that you want... Peanut cheese bars. These heal like 100 HP, and you can see that they're pretty cheap. So we're gonna- we're gonna get quite a few of these. Um... And then I think we'll sell some other things, so I- I think I'll cut to when I'm- I'm done here. Okay, so I, uh, I bought about three or four of those peanut cheese bars. Uh, again, it's just a- it's just a good healing item to have. We got quite a few ladders that don't quite extend all the way up. M Mr. Saturns may want to work on that. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why? Why? Boing. See, so yeah, Mr. Saturns are having a bit of a time. Um, hopefully we can we can help him out though. Hey, Ness, will you please go up the ladder? I, see, I try and fix the stick, and it still wasn't working. And like, it'll be fine after this next thing. But like, it's important that I I leave things the way they are now. Anyway, three to zombie full. I saw a bad stink behind falls. Zoom. 
All right, so the Mr. Sadnins are, are kind of all pointing us in a, a general direction, which is to go behind the falls that of Grapefruit Falls. And uh, we, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, go take a look back there, because nothing else we can do here. Got all of our items, and uh, we saved already. I mean, I probably should have saved after I bought all my items, but you know what? It's fine. Famous last words. We'll see. Oh, this is new. Okay. I was expecting this to be something different. Never mind. Violent Roach. You know what? We've got insecticide spray. If, if we even need to. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Blasted it with some bug spray. Get out of here. Story of my life. That's, that's usually how I approach bugs. I am not... I'm not good with bugs. Like, I see one, and, like, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm just like, I'm gonna die! Much to the amusement, um... Or, you know, exasperation of my family, because they're just like, it's it's a fly, you're fine. I'm like, I'm gonna die! I guess we're gonna fight another one. This, this should not be difficult. I guess we'll see. Well, it's difficult if we don't hit anything. That That's what makes it difficult. So, can you imagine how much more you're gonna miss if we have bought the stupid slingshots? Because Paula's already not hitting anything. And I don't remember how much slingshots generally reduce your accuracy. I think it's something like 12% or something. It's a lot. But Paula's level 22! That's that's always good. And Jeff's level 20? They're, they're slowly catching up to Ness. I keep one up by three, that's awesome. I don't- I don't know what Jeff's IQ needs to be to, uh, fix the next thing that he's going to fix, but, uh, more IQ for Jeff is always a good thing. Alright, so, the falls in question are up here, but first... Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do six on myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It was the fondest of memories! I, I do love how none of the other party members ever react. It's only Ness that does a peace sign. The others are just like... Why? Anyway. So we, can, we can head back here. Say the password. And at this point... Do not hit another button on your controller. You are going to sit here for three minutes like that Mr. Saturn told you to. You have to talk to that Mr. Saturn in order for this to work. You can't just come here and talk to him and hope for the best. Now, you may be like, Yoshi, surely you are going to cut out these three minutes because like nothing's gonna happen in this time. And I mean, you would be right that nothing's gonna happen. I'm not cutting it out. Don't scroll ahead on the bar below. This is the true Earthbound experience right here. You're gonna wait here with me for three minutes and listen to me ramble about whatever comes to mind, as is the eternal ADHD mood. I, I'm sure most of you skipped ahead already, but for those of you that did stick around, I appreciate you. You're the real ones. Anyway, I guess this is the this is the point I, I should be asking, because I'm usually so focused on game stuff. Uh, how are you enjoying the playthrough? I, I feel like I've not been doing a very good job of, like, asking, you know, comment, you know, for comments, engagement, you know, what whatever the word is. Uh, I, I'm not shaming anyone for lurking, because, I mean, I am a lurker on most of the people I watch on YouTube. But it, leaving a comment requires effort. I'm, the people that hit the like button, like, I'm I'm just like, wow, you you put effort in. I mean, just, just watch it. Just watching the video itself is still just like, wow, people are willing to listen to me ramble. And if you're listening to this, it's just like, wow. There's a lot happening with, with that person, and I'm still going to give him a shot anyway, and I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, how, how have you been enjoying it? If, if this is your first experience with the game at all, are you enjoying the game? Um, I, God. Yeah, I guess I guess this is a, this is a good question. I did I didn't make notes ahead of time. That's the thing I should have done, knowing that this section was going to happen, and I didn't do that. But uh, yeah, is, have you ever seen this game before? Uh, if you haven't, are you enjoying it? You know, what what part of it are you enjoying the most? You know, what do you think is going to happen next? Not that story has been like the most prominent thing in Earthbound, which I mean that's just kind of the thing with Earthbound. I, I I've said it before, but this game is very much about the journey and not the destination. <laughs> It's not to say that any of the destinations are bad, but just 
not giving it a, a ton of focus here. But uh, yeah, tell, tell me how you're enjoying this game. Um, God, what what else is there to talk about? You know what, Here here's something, because I, I brought it up a few episodes ago about that I'm excited for the Thousand Year Door remake, which is definitely dating this video if you are for some reason watching it in the future. Um, well, one, how's the future if you're doing that? Uh, but two, what game are you looking forward to? Like, it could be anything. It could be it could be something small. It could, I mean, it could just be DLC for something. I don't know. I don't pay attention to all these things in games. Um, I'm a Nintendo kid, uh, all the way. The, the, the past, the game is putting us out of our misery and not making me ramble for three, three minutes anymore. That went by a lot faster than I thought it would though. Wow. Panicking. Anyway, okay, you may enter. And uh, in we go to uh, Belch's factory, which uh, if you've played Mother 1, or Earthbound Beginnings, you, uh, you'll you have heard this music before. Th this area is not as bad as the area it plays in that game, though. Let's get a move on. Did you bring some fly, honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Uh, we did, but we're going to say no. Then why are you here? Fair question. Uh, if you say yes, you don't have to fight this guy. And uh, you know what? We like free experience. God, Paula just cannot hit anything. Oh, I didn't know you could call for help. Um, we're we're gonna light you guys on fire. That seems like a good idea. And maybe Paula will actually hit that. That didn't do a ton of damage, but that that did something. Oh, can't stop crying. You know, at least now if we miss, it makes sense. Wow, Paula was still the only one that missed. Paula can't hit anything. Wow, okay. Anyway, let's uh let's get a move on. Alright, here here's here's a good enemy to uh grind off of. This is the Foppy. These things are, are super weak. You'll you'll encounter a lot of them and they Yeah, see we we beat them immediately. They're 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 nothing. And they, they give, you know, a decent amount of experience points for being so weak. But usually there's a lot more there. Oh. Instead, the zombies decided that they were going to be the ones that um, did a lot. Uh, we are going to light them on fire with Beta, though, just to, to get rid of them. Get out of here. Return to the dust of the earth, where you belong. Wow. Ness was like, this one's not dead yet, and just like, I'm assuming like whacked its head off or something. And then, and then that the, the the head of the zombie crumbled to dust. Found a bomb. We got we got a lot of bombs. So many explosives. Like this this feels dangerous for us to be carrying this many things. But you know, I guess it's better than in Mother Three, where you just generally give the dog the explosives. <laughs> if you've never played that game, I promise you, I'm not joking. <laughs> All right, level twenty six. Not a great level up, but you know what? We, uh, we're not gonna complain too much. I, I, okay, I was gonna say, I'm used to there being a lot more of these things. That, that's a, that's the number that I'm more used to saying. All right, well, I'm just gonna use Fire Alpha, because that hits the whole row. Uh, you could be pretty generous about, uh, using PSI in this area, because there, there is an area with a magic butterfly, so, like, you're gonna be fine. This, this is not a, a overly difficult area. Brain shock still did not work. Okay, you're dead, and now you're dead. E Z. There we go. And now Jeff is level 21. Didn't get a whole lot from that level up either, but it's fine. Okay, there's there's nothing here. We are gonna go down here because uh, I believe there is some good items in here. Wow, the game suddenly lagged. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Yeah, we, we lit them on fire. It, uh, it was super effective. Okay, more trash cans. There's an IQ capsule. Okay. So, uh, that is gonna boost IQ, and given how important that stat is for Jeff, we are gonna go ahead and, uh, use it on Jeff. There we go. What, what is this IQ at now? Let's, let's see. 21! I think we need it to, like, 24 for, like, the next big things, um, but he should hopefully level up. Again, and there's a broken laser. Definitely want that. Because as, as you can imagine, that is that will eventually be another weapon for Jeff. 
Oh boy, more more enemies. Let's let's fight them. Be right back. Paula became level 23. Good for her. Max HP went up by three. That's always good. We didn't learn any new moves, but you know that's fine. Oh no, the poor Mr. Saturns. How how could you do this to Mr. Saturns? Ah, so honest. Smile, boing. This this is just sad. How how could you put a ball and chain on Mr. Saturn? Tired. But so good, ding. God, they're they're so great. Er it's hard to make the gross sounds that Master Belch does. I know I can't do it. I sucks to be you, I guess? Master Belch is the slimiest. However, I heard he's also serving that Gigas guy. That I cannot believe. I I I guess we've just gotten a taste of the inner workings of slime politics. I guess rather it would be like barf politics? I don't know. Oh, see, we're strong enough that these guys are just dead immediately. That's great. And uh, I can't imagine you're gonna fare much better because it's just you. And you know, at least the other one, well, that was two of them. Yep, there we go. And Jeff's level 22. Is your IQ gonna go up? No, it did not. <laughs> well, okay. Here is the magic butterfly room, which I think Paula's the only one that's really taken a lot of damage. So this getting the magic butterfly is more for her than anything. Okay, we're also gonna go up that ladder because I think to the left is the way we need to go. So let's head on up here. Are you gonna fight us? So you're the ones that destroyed the zombies that I assigned to Threed. I... I suppose that's true. I mean, we didn't destroy all of them. We just... Stuck them to the floor of a tent. And now we can't stop crying. I mean, that that's a mood. Um... I think you're weak to freeze? I'm gonna try freeze. Yep, that does it. There we go. Luckily, uh, crying is not a status effect you have to heal outside of battle. It's purely a status effect you worry about in battle. Okay, more trash cans. More explosives. A vital capsule. Okay, but our inventory is full, so... Um... What can we get rid of? <laughs> That's a very good question. You know what? We will use the croissant on Jeff. Is we don't need that. We are gonna use the vital capsule. Um, I think we're gonna use that on yeah, we're gonna use that on Paula. It's like that that's a lot. That that should well I say that's a lot. That doesn't mean anything. What I meant to say, my brain was jumping to conclusions, is that there is a big gap between her max HP and the other two, so this will hopefully help her help her a little bit. Um here is an HP sucker. That is an item for Jeff? Okay, that was weird. I thought the game froze for a second. <laughs> I think- I think the game just got quiet. Uh, and that's a calorie stick. Um... There, you know what? We can- we can have the skip sandwich DX, because that- that will make us- that will make us go faster. And then we can have that. Calorie stick's not the great- you know, not as good as the peanut cheese bar, but like, it, it's a, not a bad item. Oh, here's a new enemy. Couldn't run away from that. Got... Mostly bad fly. Okay, well, we're still gonna freeze you, cause uh, that's just that's just what we do. And now you. Oh, I thought you would be dead. I was wrong. Oh, Jeff can't move. That's not great. Okay. Uh, freeze you, and you can spy on the mostly bad fly because you can't do anything else. <laughs> Uh, unless we kill it first. Nope. Offense. Vulnerable to fire. Freeze. Paralysis. Okay. Not that it matters, because we're just... We're just gonna smash it like the bug that it is. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, lots of battles. Not that that's a bad thing. Oh god, I, for I forgot that we had the skip sandwich, so I was like, why are we going so fast? That's what my memory's like. Ness is level 27. Good for you, Ness. Uh, Hypnosis Omega. A move that we don't use a whole lot. 
We didn't use the alpha version much. Uh, we're still not going to use the omega one a lot. Uh, we will we will use life up on Paula and Jeff though, just because they give us the magic butterfly. May as well make use of it. Uh, but yeah, the HP sucker is an item that only Jeff can use. That uh, I believe can take like. 12% of an enemy's HP if it works. Uh, the chance that it does work, you know, not not the greatest, um, but like, so we're probably not really gonna use it. It's probably gonna go into storage or I'm just gonna sell it or something. Um, yeah, I could use a defense sprite in battle, but like, we haven't encountered anything that needs it. And certainly not gonna be these guys. Yeah, it wasn't, okay. Let's, let's just keep moving. Oh, got a lot of things now. Okay. Paula became level 24. Also, I think, uh, oh, she learned Magnet Omega. Um, do, do we have a problem? Yes, we do. Ness is homesick. Cool. Um, well, it's not, this is not the worst place that it could happen. It's not the greatest place that it could happen either. Are you the fly honey delivery boy? What's the password? I'm not standing here for three minutes. Doesn't mean I don't trust you. Just say it. Say it now! I'm so quiet as either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. What a suspicious fellow! Yeah, in the middle of that last battle, uh, one, the fly got a... Uh, smash hit. I... I almost said... I don't know what I almost said. It doesn't matter. Got a, got a critical hit on, uh, Paula, which that wasn't great. And then suddenly it was like, Ness has lost all motivation. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Okay. So, uh, Ness may not be the most useful here. Um, not great, but could be worse. Oh, good. Okay, Ness, Ness is still doing some stuff. That's good. He's not completely useless. Oh, okay. He, he heard me talking smack about him and was like, watch this. Good for you, Ness. And now Jeff is level 23. He went up by one. That's good. Uh, I still don't think it is where we need it to be. It's 22. That's okay. We don't have to have it, uh, exactly there immediately. Okay. We are gonna swap items real fast. Um, well, for one, Paula, use this calorie stick on yourself. And then we're gonna have Ness give the jar of fly honey to Paula because she's faster than Ness. Ness is very slow. I'm not- I'm not doing a burp. I can't do that on command, so don't ask me to. So, are you are Ness? I see. Your your your. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. <laughs> you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. Gah! <laughs> I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. <laughs> get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You could have cut that conversation off a lot sooner than you did. But yeah, this this is Master Belch. Um, immediately, you're going to want to use... Nope. Jar of Fly Honey. There you go. Because otherwise, you can't do anything to him. He grabs it, and then he he's not going to do anything to you. Well, aside from make you feel nauseous, which is basically a, a worse poison. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that and use, I think you're weak to freeze. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, that, that did that did a lot. Oh, Ness thought about his mom. Okay. <laughs> it's open to hypnosis, okay. Um, can you heal Jeff, please? I know you're sad about your mom, but like, Jeff is, like, hacking along. Okay. I probably could use a small bottle rocket. Yeah, we're, we're working on it, Jeff. God, Ness, please help Jeff! <laughs> Ness! Your friend needs your help. Oh my god. Uh, Jeff. I don't want to use a picnic lunch if I don't have to. Um, you know what? You can use a bottle rocket. Don't use the big bottle rocket. Okay, we don't- we didn't need to. Ness was not very helpful. <laughs> uh, 
Jeff is, is down there sweating. He's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ness, please. Looks like it was an even fight. But Master Gygus has managed to get the Mani Mani statue into Forsai. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. That sounds pretty bad. Ugh. Suffer, Spanky! <laughs> and there he goes. And before you do anything else, Ness, for the love of God, heal Jeff. My God, you you really you really should have helped him. Um, here you can have a calorie stick, Jeff. There you go. Um, I think on no no we'll, we'll go through. We'll see what's at the end of this tunnel. And very dramatic music. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing. Goody. Burp. I, I like to imagine that Mr. Saturn's just saying burp. I, I don't know if Mr. Saturn's can burp. You you worn down? Ah, uh, boing. Burp. Barf. Stinky. Pee you. We, we head through here and, uh... It gets us back to where we started in Saturn Valley. And I think on that note, this is actually a good place to call it an episode. Ah, I still don't have an outro, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for putting up with me. And I hope you'll join me next time as we, uh, I guess look for where we need to go next. Cause who knows at this point, see you then.